and a church you can call home. Amen. So praise God where we honor God, we love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comercio. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all of you that are joining us by audio or video. So we just want to say welcome, amen, and all we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. You know, you got to get that right attitude. We're going we're to be talking about attitude again. <laughs> we got to get in the right attitude, amen, and expect. Lord, I want to hear from you. You know, yeah. the problem is not with him. The problem is with us. Yeah. We got to fix this. Right. <laughs> and when we can fix this, we can hear. He yeah. says, I'm knocking. He yeah. says, I'm behold. He says, I knock, but you're not answering. He says, I want to come in, but you won't let me. And so when he knocks, you know, we need to open up. And if we open up, he says, I'll come in and sup with you. Uh -huh. So... We will, if the problem's not with him, the problem's with us. We got to fix this this part, amen? So, he's got something for you, and we want to welcome all of you. Oh. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio o video, and uh, we just want to talk again. We, we want to continue with Bloom for Jesus, amen? Bloom for Jesus, too. We started last week on Blooming for Jesus. You know what? This is a daily thing. This is an everyday thing, you know? It's, it's just not once in a while, you know, but we need to bloom for Jesus yeah. on a daily basis, amen? Uh, we, you know, we, we try to bloom for the world. We try to bloom for other things all the time, except for Jesus, uh -huh. you know? And we try to hide it. Yeah. Don't hide it any longer, you know? We got to show, amen. we got to bloom for Jesus. Yes. And we're going to be, we have a definition for it, amen? So prepare yourselves, amen? Before I get going here, Grab your sword, soldier of God, amen, and let's make yes. this declaration Lord. together, amen. Yes. This is my Bible. I am what says I am. I have what says I am. I can do what says I can do today. I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'm never going to say in Jesus' name. And you know, we've said this before and we'll say it again. The battlefield is the mind. Yes. Amen. Yes. And the world will bombard you, you know, oh, with yes. all kind of negative all things. Kind of It'll bombard you with anything that you'll receive. Amen. Amen. That's why it's so important that you know what the Word of God says. Yes. Yes. So that you can, Bible says, renew your mind yes. with the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Feed your spirit the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. But renew your mind with the Word of God because the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he's going to use anything to distract you. Amen. And the world, you know what the world does? The world is number one in advertising. And they're going to use any media they can to try to get it to you. Some kind of way. You know, through sound, through video, whatever. Right. Newspaper, yeah, uh, cell phones, you know, uh, Facebook, yeah. it doesn't matter. It's going to try to get it to you and it's going to yeah. go into your eyes and it's going to, or your ears, but you need yeah. to do, what you need to do is renew your mind with the Word of God. Amen. Renew it and know what the Word of God says so that you don't receive the junk. Right. They're yeah. trying to get to you. Amen. I say, no, 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 I'm going to renew my mind. Yeah with the word amen so oh, yeah. let's prepare ourselves we're going to continue with room for jesus too amen and uh i've got a couple of things i want to read at you first amen one of them is this a scripture break and we talked about this but it says bloom just bloom as a flower in god's garden of life don't compete don't compare or copy be original god made you to be an original amen original is better than a copy encourage and help each other and bloom where god plants you you know another word for plant uh, is set god wants to set you where he wants you amen many stories in the bible he set people where they needed to be amen and you know it's up to us to have the right attitude Amen. Get ourselves right and set ourselves right to bloom for him. Amen. Wherever he wants me to be, I want to be. And I want to yeah. do for him. Amen. Because he did for me. He went to the cross. He didn't have to. And he paid a price he didn't have to pay. Exactly. And I owe it there. I cannot pay. Yes. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the best I can to yeah. serve him. Yeah. 
am bloom wherever he wants me to be. Amen. So you can be a nice little blooming flower in the <laughs> desert. <laughs> in the chihuahua desert. Yes. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Listen, one a scripture I want to share with you is Hebrews 10 25. King James says this, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. All you know, right. this is getting harder and harder. Yeah. And it should be hard for Christians. Amen. But not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. Right. Well, you know what? Hey, I've got a TV. I've got a cell phone and I could just tune in, you know. Mm. I don't have to come and assemble ourselves together. That's not what the word of God said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says not to forsake the assembling yeah, yeah. of ourselves together. Why? Yeah. I'm glad you asked. As a matter of some is, but exhorting one another, yeah. encouraging one another. Yeah. Amen. Being there for one another, you know, and so much more mm -hmm. as you see the day yeah, yeah, approaching. Yeah. The day is getting closer and closer and closer. Yes. But we need to remember not to forsake the assembly yes. of ourselves together. Coming together. Yes. Encourage one another. Yes. Brother, you can make it. Sister, you can make it. Mm -hmm. You can do all things through Christ. Yes. Encouraging one another. Encouraging. Otherwise, you know what? We're just going to be like the world, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and I've said this many times, but I'll say it again. <laughs> and I'll say it over and over. We're not here to be entertained. Yeah, yeah. Amen. We tune in the TV. We tune in the cell phones, you know, to see what kind of entertainments are going on. We're not here to be entertained. You're a child of God. You're a right. warrior for God. Amen. Hallelujah. Not a warrior. And you know what? We're here to empower. He's here to empower us to yes. go and do what he wants us to do. Right. Amen. But you know, if you if if you're not seeking him and blooming for him guess what the world's going to have you yeah. you're not renewing your mind the world's going to have you and you're going to start doing what the world is doing and that's not being entertained we need to empower he need we need to be empowered so that we can go and fulfill what god wants us to do amen the bible says we can do all things through christ yeah. who strengthens us not only that he says greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world mm -hmm. So what's holding us back? We are. Amen. We are holding ourselves back. Don't hold yourself back any longer. He's not the one holding us back. We're the ones that's holding us back. Yeah. So we need to let go and let God. Amen. Yeah. Or let God and let go. Oh, Whatever yeah. is holding you, let it go. Mm -hmm. You know? Whew, man. Well, God doesn't use me. God don't talk to me. He is. Oh, We're yeah. just not listening. Yes. <laughs> Listen, let me explain to you. <laughs> let me explain to you. Thank you, Carmen. It says bloom for Jesus. Yes. Amen. Bloom for Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, and we keep going. You got my whatever I like this funny one here. No no it's not here today. But it says bloom for Jesus. Rain or shine. Yes. You know, we try to say the Bible says it uh, well. I, we have it, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, Psalms uh, 118.24 says, This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. And we try to tell him, you know what? Uh, it's too cloudy out there to yeah, go and have a good day. Yeah. It's too rainy. It's too uh, snowy. It's too cold to go. Uh, or it's too sunny, too hot mm -hmm. to go and enjoy what he wants us to have. Mm -hmm. Man, <laughs> we let circumstances, you know, the enemy's going to see to it. That he keeps us busy and oh, keeps yeah. us down and out, you know. Don't exclude yourself, include yourself and say, wait a minute, this is what God wants me to do. Yeah. If I got to stay in, I'm going to pray. If, I, if I'm if i in, I'm going to do whatever it takes yeah. God wants me to do. Yeah. But he wants you to do something. He just don't That's want you to, to sit on your como se llama yeah. and do nothing, you know, and just That's twiddle it. your thumbs, you know, or, or whatever. No, stay busy and bloom for him. Even if I'm inside, outside, yeah. driving, at the doctor's office, shopping, wherever, you know. I've said it many times. You're the closest thing to Jesus. Yeah. You're the closest thing to a Bible wow. some people will ever see. Right. Amen. Feel special. How special are you? Man, I'm a representative. <laughs> I'm a minister of reconciliation. Yeah. Bringing Jesus to the world. Mm -hmm. That's how special you are. Amen. He didn't put you here to lose. He put you here to win. Yes. See yourself that way. See yourself the way he sees you. 
Amen. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Keep going, Connie. Man, these are good. Well, I'm glad. Amen. I've got a definition for bloom. <laughs> bloom says what? To appear or come into being. No, you know what you do is you sow seed. Yes. And you sow it and you bury it in the ground. But all of a sudden, it's going to appear and it's going to come into being. It's going to go through all that hard stuff, all that dirt and stuff. God had already created Amen. it to do something. It's going to generate and it's going to come up. And it's going to push its way up over that hard dirt. And it's going to grow. Now, I don't care where it's set. It, 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 it. What's the word I want? I don't care where it fell or where you planted it. It's going to grow because God already has the law in motion. You know, and he says, you're going to grow. It's been sown. It's been planted. And it's going to grow. Yeah. You know what? You can have a seed and yeah. have it in a jar. You can have it on the table. You can have it in your hand. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing going to happen to it. That's it. You got to sow it. Yeah. You got yeah. to bury it. Amen. Yeah. Same thing with the word of God. You got to sow it. You know? And when you sow it, it's going to grow. Uh, Amen. Yeah. So praise God. It says, man, it's going to make an appearance. It's going to come into being. It's going to support the plant life in abundance. It says it's going to open up. You know what? When it comes up, up, up the ground, it's going to open. Yes, it is. It's going to open up. Yes. And there's a flower, there's a plant, there's a tree, there's a cactus. It's a, it's a beautiful flower. It's going to come out. It says to bear flower, to blossom. It's going to blossom. Mm -hmm. That's what he wants us to do for him. You know, hey, I'm going to blossom the best I can for Jesus. When people see me, they're going to say, he's a child of God. She's a child of God. Amen. To, to, to glow, to be healthy, to be radiant, to be mature, to grow, yes. to flourish. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's what he wants us to do. Mm -hmm. Not to be baby Christians all our lives and then just have the world, have the enemy, anything just plow over us, you know. No. He wants us to grow and mature in the yes. things of God. Amen. Yes. And how do you do that? You open the Word of God. Word of God. And you yes. read it. And you read it. And you grow from it. Yes. Amen. I guarantee you, you're going to grow. <laughs> if we can use the things that are worlds to grow us, you know, why not the Word of God? Yes, right. Amen. Hey, you know what? I can't do that. Well, stop saying that. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ. Okay. I can learn the Word. Amen. So praise God, I'm gonna read it, but I gotta get read it and and get it in me, mm -hmm. meditate on it, and grow from yes, it. Yes, Amen. Yes, yes. All of us can do that. Okay. Yes. He's no he don't exclude anybody, he yes, includes yes. everybody. He's no respecter of persons. That's my next word. He's no respecter of persons. Yes, yes. yes, yes. no person. You know what? As a matter of fact, you can go around and call yourself, man, I'm God's favorite child. Yeah. <laughs> no, I am. You know, if it makes somebody jealous. That's because they're not walking in Christ. Say, so, yeah, brother, yes, sister, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you know what? So am I. Yeah. See yourself that way. Yes. You're God's favorite child. Yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So we're gonna bloom for Jesus. Bloom where you're planted. This is so important. You know, well, well, let me read this to you. It says, God has placed you here. For a purpose, yes, yes. whatever it might yes. be, no, He has chosen you for it. Yes. You know what? He chose you. Mm -hmm. See yourself that way instead of letting people talk to you and say, you know what? <laughs> this is not the place to be. Yes. And they're going to tell you where you need to be, no, where you need to go, oh, and yeah. all these yeah, other things. You know what? <laughs> yeah, we need to be at the bar, you know? <laughs> and we can have few no. drinks and we forget who we are yeah. and what we're doing and get all stupid. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, no. He knows he has chosen you for it and yes. labor faithfully. It says uh -huh. bloom where you're planted. Yes, exactly. He's going to plant you where he wants you. Lord, this is where you want me, and this is where I am going to do my best for you. Amen. And we're going to be talking about one of my favorite scriptures here in a few minutes. Keep going. Hallelujah. But you know what? He says, even if it's not where you want to be. Yep. You're where he wants you to be, amen. You may not like the circumstances, still bloom. Be happy and bloom where Jesus plants you. Have the right attitude. Remember we talked 
just to review a little bit, the prodigal son. He didn't like what the father had for him, so he took off, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And Jonah, God told him what to do. He says, no, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to. I mean, he told him. And yeah. you know what? He got on the wrong ship, going the wrong yeah. way, opposite of where God wanted him to go. But you know what? When they started having problems, Jonah went and told him. He said, you know why you guys are having problems? It's because I'm running from God. I'm running from God. <laughs> I'm running from God. You know what you do? If, if you go and, 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 and take me to Nineveh, <laughs> Where God wants me to be, your yeah, problems is over. Well, he didn't say they take him to Nineveh. God arranged the fish. Yeah, yes. amen. That's it. And they threw him. He said, "If you throw me overboard, guess what? They accommodated him yeah. quick. Oh, they yeah. threw him overboard. Their problems were over, and his, you know, was just starting. Yeah. <laughs> there was a fish. God had already arranged oh, a fish." Swallowed him and yes, went and spit him out at the shore of Nineveh. Yes, Ooh, hallelujah. Him. Thank you, Lord. And David, <laughs> he had the right attitude. You know, he was blooming no matter what. Mm -hmm. He was a little shepherd boy, but he yeah. was blooming for Jesus. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When the problem came and Goliath came, you know, he says, You know what? You ain't no problem. Mm -hmm. He says, The same God that was with me when I, when the lion came, when the bear came, he yes, says, he delivered me and he's going to deliver me from yes. you. Whatever yes. problems you're facing right now, those of you yes. watching me, those of you listening to me, <laughs> you got problems, but you know what? Yes. Greater is he that is in Greater you. Is Greater is your God that's in you yes. than he that is in the world. I don't care what you're facing, but the thing about it is, is you got to get your priorities right. Yes. Seek, yes. Him on, <laughs> Seek him first. Seek him first. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. You're having problems because you got to seek him first. And when you know when you seek him first, you're going to bloom for him. Amen. Ooh, come Amen. on now. Right. Have the right attitude. We talked about this. It says attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. Also, attitude, a bad attitude is like a flat tire. You can't go anywhere unless you fix it. And we, I've had a few of them. And I had to fix them before I went anywhere. Ooh, come on. Yep. Here we go. We talked about this. It says, bloom where God has planted you. Mm. Don't worry about where others may be. You know, we're always watching out for, well, look what they're doing. Yeah. Or look what's happening with them. You know? yeah. Or look what God is doing for them. And I'm jealous. Uh, <laughs> no, don't worry about what the others are doing. That's it. He says, there's a specific plan for you. You are where you are for a reason. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the reason? God knows. Yes. If you want to know, you go to him. Go ask him, him. why it. is it you got me here, Lord? Mm -hmm. Why is it you want me to be here? Mm -hmm. You know, and when he tells you, then fulfill what he yes. wants you to do. Amen. It. It says focus on God's word. Be fruitful and multiply. But the main thing is bloom where God has planted you. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Lord, you got me here for a reason. Yes. Instead of having a bad attitude, have the right attitude. Yeah. And get that attitude right and say, Lord, you got me here for a reason. Hmm. What is it you want me to do, Lord? Mm -hmm. Here am I, Lord, send me. Mm -hmm. That's the right attitude. Mm -hmm. Amen. If nobody else is answering, I'm going to answer. Yes. yes. <laughs> Praise God. Keep yes. going. Man, these are good. I've got a yes, few of these for you. It says, bloom where you're planted. Keep going, Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bloom. You got to bloom. You know, you can't be a flower and not bloom. It says, I want to stay connected to Christ. So that I can bloom and grow, and grow, yes. grow. You got to stay connected. You know what? This we have instruments here, you know, but they got to be plugged in to work. We got to stay connected to Him to work and be functional and, yes. and able to do what we're supposed to do as we're connected to Him. Yes. You know, with Him, I'm everything. Yes. Without Him, Without I'm him, nothing. nothing. Amen. <laughs> I've got a sticker sign in my truck that says it's hell without Jesus. It's hell without so guess what? Hell I don't want I don't want to be around hell at all. Right. No. It, wasn't, it wasn't made for me. Right. It was made for the enemy. Right. And, yeah. Amen. So praise That's God. Right. Praise <laughs> God. Keep going, turn. Woo, these are good. Bloom where you're planted. That's it. You know, broke through all that hard dirt. And it's coming up. And then you know what it did? It opens up. And you know, it just spreads his arms out and praise God. The Lord here I'm at. You know, I'm going to grow and go for him. Amen. Keep going. Uh -huh. These are all good. So bloom. I don't care where the, the seed fell. 
God made it possible for this thing to grow. Amen. And it's going to grow. And guess what it's doing? It's blooming. Mm -hmm. It's got a beautiful flower. So we said, well, you know, you can't bloom. You know, that's the wrong place. That's the wrong time. No. <laughs> it's the right time. It's God's time. If it's God's time, I'm going to grow and I'm going to grow for Amen. Him. Amen. Keep going. Man, these are all good. Just know it is. Just remember, every flower that ever bloomed had to go through some whole lot of dirt to get to where it mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. now. It's grown. We've sowed a garden. And you know what? You didn't see nothing. All of a sudden, man, you got some plant and you got some plants growing. Absolutely. Amen. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon there's gonna be some flowers and those flowers are gonna bloom for for him. Yeah. Amen. Woo, these are good kind. Yeah. Keep keep them coming. Mayors. There we go. Whatever you yes. are, God put you there for a reason. Uh -huh. It was a big pink words. Bloom. And God says, bloom, bloom. <laughs> if you don't know what else, bloom. Amen. Woo. You're connected to the source. When you're connected to the source, you're going to bloom for him. Uh -huh. Amen. It says, wherever you are planted. Yes. Amen. Yes. And don't, don't let circumstances, tears, things just hold you back. No. I'm connected to the source. And right. where, where, if I'm connected, I'm going to bloom for God. Amen. I'm going to bloom wherever I happen to be. I don't need to be popular with what's going on around me. I'm just going to be popular with Him. Because I'm going to bloom where He wants me. I'm going to be where He wants me to be. And I'm going to bloom for Him. Keep going. These are good. Okay, right there is where I want to be. <laughs> Colossians 3, 23, 24. Amen. I'm going to read it to you in two translations here. One of them says, New King James says, Whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord, not unto men. Right. You know, if you do it unto men, you're going to be disappointed. Yeah. Right. Because you was expecting a thank you. You was expecting <laughs> something in return. And they didn't even acknowledge you. Mm -hmm. Do it unto God. Amen. And settle it. It's right. done. 24 says, Knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance. For you serve the Lord Christ. Yes. For you serve the Lord Christ. So blue for him daily. Mm -hmm. Blue for him daily. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Amen. So praise God. And I'm going to bloom for you. Praise God. Uh, New Living Translation says, Work uh, willingly at whatever you do as though you was working for the Lord rather yeah, than for yeah. people. If you're doing to impress people, guess what? They uh -huh. weren't going to be impressed. And if they're jealous, they ain't going to say anything. Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to say the wrong thing. Yeah, exactly. Just to hurt you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, and if you let it hurt you, you know, it's not a good thing. No. So Lord, I'm, I've, I've settled this already. I'm doing this under you. Regardless of what they say, amen, this is under you, Lord. Amen. And you know, you won't be hurt that way. Remember that the Lord will give you an inheritance as your reward and that the master you are serving is christ amen amen when you're serving him you know it's already paid for mm -hmm. he'd already paid for it. he paid for a price he didn't even owe right. and now i owe something that i can't even pay for yeah, so lord i want to serve you yes. amen i want to serve you Woo. from this day on <laughs> send me lord here i am keep going these are good. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we talked about this, but it's okay. We'll say it again. Mm -hmm. Bloom for Jesus once in a while. No, no oh, daily. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is the day the Lord has made. Yes. It says, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Glad in or this is the day the Lord has made. I will bloom for Jesus daily. Yes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I will bloom for Jesus daily. Amen. Forget the circumstances. Forget the whatever, you know, if it's yeah. too cloudy, if it's too rainy, if it's too cold. <laughs> this is the day the Lord has given me. Yeah, I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. We're, man, this is leading somewhere, so just be ready. Keep going. There you go. The joy of the Lord is our strength. You know, it's, it's so amazing how God, God uses joy. Be happy. You know, because the world wants you to be down and out. Mm. The world wants you to be sad, doom and gloom. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. As a matter of fact, uh, John 10.10 10 says, The enemy, the devil, yes. he comes except yes. to yes. steal, yes. to kill, yes. and to destroy. That's his mission. Mm. Steal, kill, and destroy you. Amen. So, That's it. I'm not going to go for that. I'm going to rejoice and be glad. Yeah. And let the joy of That's the good. Lord 
be my strength. You need strength? Put a smile on your face. Get the right attitude to serve him. Amen. Nobody going to follow you, man, with that frown on your face. <laughs> Wherever you're going, I don't want to go. <laughs> Look like you're going to hell. <laughs> with that frown on your face, man, I don't want to go where you're going. Shoot, man. Woo, hallelujah. Keep going. Even a kid will follow you if you got some candy, you know, you put a smile on your face, you know. It's like Proverbs 17, 22 says what? It says, a joyful heart is good medicine. So it's good for you anyway. It'll bless you. Amen. It's good medicine for you. You need some medicine, you don't feel good, get some joy in you. <laughs> this joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bone. Basically, he wants you to bloom. If you're blooming, you're joyful. <laughs> Amen. Let me see how I wrote it here. Uh, yeah. It says bloom. Bloom for him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just bloom. Because, I mean, we're talking about bloom. We're going to keep <laughs> saying it and saying it until you get it. Bloom for Jesus. Bloom. <laughs> Matthew 6.33. We already talked about this. Get in the right attitude. How is that? Seek him first. Yes. Amen. You wake up. You don't run and get the coffee first. Yep. You don't run and get the paper first. You don't open your cell phone and say, man, no. when you see, no. I'll catch up on all these other that's things. That's no. Oh, Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day oh. that you give me. I'm going to rejoice and be glad yes. in you. Seeking him first. Amen. Getting myself right with him before I face the world. Yes. If you don't seek him first, the world is going to have you. Oh. Quick. Amen. You ever heard of rage? Oh boy. There's a lot of rage going on out there. Oh and you know what? You, you're going to fall right into it. Oh. Amen. And they're going to see to it that you're invited. <laughs> they're going to invite themselves in your path. They're going to invite themselves in your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we're going to see what you made out of. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Right. <laughs> right now. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5 7 says, We walk by faith, not by sight. Right. So you know what? I'm going to get myself right and I'm going to bloom and I'm going to walk by faith and not by sight because yes. you know what? If I'm not seeking Him first mm -hmm. and blooming for Him, my sight is going to see all the negative stuff. Amen? And I'm going to start going the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not doing that. I'm going to walk by faith and not by sight. Amen? Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to plant. I'm going to grow. And I'm going to bloom for him. And I'm going to let my roots be grounded in him. Yes, deep, deep. We, got, we, we, we got to let our faith roots grow deep in him. Yes. So you know what? When yes. the wind storms of life come, oh, they yeah. just you just kind of rock some, you know. Mm -hmm. But you ain't going to be moved. That's it. You see things that are not going to move you in the wrong it. way That's like it. they used to. Right. Amen. Now I'm grounded in him. And yeah. I'm going to serve him yes. and i'm going to bloom for him and i'm going to yes. be steady for him Ooh, right, hallelujah man you. i needed this <laughs> we all need i needed this we all needed this amen <laughs> hallelujah be right there let me see where i'm at now okay oh, here we are second uh first corinthians 12 18 says this uh new king james says but now god is set or planted the yes. members, each one of them each in one. the body, just as he pleased. Yes. He's got it. You know what? He's got you just where it pleased them. Uh -huh. So don't be upset. Just get right with him. If your attitude is right, you know, just say, Lord, thank you for setting me here. What is it that you want me to do? Mm -hmm. Here I am, Lord. Send me. Yes. I'm ready. Yes. You keep yourself ready, amen, for amen. him. So be yourself. Be the original God made you to be. Don't try to copy. Just be the original because original is better than a copy. Oh, amen. Absolutely. You're not a copy. You are an original. Amen. God made you just the way you are. Yes. He set you amen. right where he wants you to be. Woo. Yes. Be the best you can be where you are now. Put a smile on your face. Give your frown a break. Be good. Be kind. Yeah. No matter how rude or how unkind they are to you. Be oh. grateful when you're living, even if it's not where you want to be. That's the it. thing That's is, it. nothing in life happens to you. It happens for you. Yeah. Amen. Keep the right attitude when things uh, are happening. Mm. Never give in to the bad attitude. Amen. 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 
keep a, a positive attitude, not a negative attitude, and no complaining. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Our attitude should be this, Lord. I may not like this, but I know I'm here in your divine plan. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Amen. I'm here in your divine plan. Yeah. He said he's got plans for us. Amen. I got a scripture for you. Jeremiah 29, 11. Okay. Yes. We're going to go there in a few minutes. But he's got plans for you. Plans. And none of them include defeat. That's right. it. Right. Amen. All his plans for you are to win, win, win. Yeah, to be yeah. a winner, to be a champion, to Praise be an God. overcomer. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says you can do all things yes. through Him all who strengthens you. Amen. 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 <laughs> it may not feel good, but it's allowing me to grow and mature yes. and be all God created me to be. Mm -hmm. And to be complete in, in Him. To be complete in Him. Amen. Ooh. I'm pleasing Him. Mm -hmm. When I'm pleasing Him, you know what? He's happy. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. You know, we always try to fight. We're always trying to fight to be somewhere we don't need to be. Oh, come on now. Come on now. It's greener oh, on the, right. you yeah. know, the grass is greener on the other side. I We're looking that. at all these things, you know. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> we're trying to get somewhere to be somewhere else to be happy. Yeah. Yes, the grass is greener on the other side. But guess what? Be careful. Because yeah. the enemy comes to steal, yeah. kill, yeah. and destroy. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. So keep the right attitude. Says, but no, but now has God set the members. That's us, yeah. the body of Christ. We're the body of Christ, and yeah. He has set us, each one of us, in the body as it pleased Him. You know, even this body. Yeah. He put every part in this body, outside, inside. He put them just where yeah. they need to be, Absolutely. and we're to grow together, and we're to operate in unity, yes. not compete against each other, yeah. but say, hey, you know what? We can make this body function by it. All we need to do is do our part. Amen. And whatever you happen to be, if you're a little finger, a little toe, or <laughs> an inside part that never gets seen. That's it. Amen. That's it. You want to be the face, you know, everybody can see, man, you're beautiful, you're <laughs> handsome. <laughs> but you got other parts and you nobody ever sees. That's it. But you know what? They They're functioning as one body. <laughs> and this yeah. body is functioning just right for Jesus. As a body of Christ, we need to do the same thing. Yes. God put you where he wants you. Mm -hmm. You may be a little toe. You may be a little finger. Or you may be something inside nobody ever sees. But guess what? Lord, I'm going to do this under you mm -hmm. faithfully. Amen. And I'm going to bloom wherever you put me. Wherever you set me. Wherever you planted me. Amen. That's what I'm going to do for you. Amen. Woo. And I'm seeking to Praise please God. him. Nobody else. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There we go. I put it in another translation here. First Corinthians 12, 18 says, But in fact, God has placed the parts in the body, mm -hmm. every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. That's okay? That's good. So, <laughs> aren't you glad your little toes ain't sticking out of your head? You know? <laughs> <laughs> they belong on your feet. Yes. It keeps you balanced. Yes. Amen. Every part of this body functions yes, and is placed. Just where it needs to be yes. for this body to function is one. one. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm glad all these parts are not fighting mm, that's it. for favoritism. Oh, boy. Yeah. I tell you. It'll be a big battle. Yes, it would. Amen. You wouldn't get anywhere. You no. wouldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, mm, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Keep going. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm, I'm happy. Yes. Casting all things. This is what the thing is, you know, the enemy wants to come to steal, kill, and destroy. Uh -huh. He wants to put distractions. He wants to put cares on you. Amen. Cast all these cares on uh -huh. him. Amen. So that person that uh, uh, that's hard to get along with, oh you know what? <laughs> He's not God happening is. to you. He's <laughs> happening for you. God is using them to grow you up. All right now. Oh, I said, wait a minute. What the word of God says about this? <laughs> so now I know. But you have to have the word in you yes. in order to go in there and yes. say, what does the word of God say about this? You know, mm -hmm. or if somebody says something, they say, is that scriptural? Mm. If it's not scriptural, don't receive it. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Lord, I'm casting this on you. I'm not receiving this. Yes. You know how to hit the lead? Yeah. <laughs> Press the lead. I'm not receiving it. Yes. That's not of God. Yes. That's not scriptural. I'm not receiving it. Yes. 
But we got to be bold enough to do that, you know. Yes, you somebody just come and load on you and say, wait a minute, <laughs> that's not for me. You're talking to the wrong person. Mm -hmm. I've known you all your life. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I'm a new creature in Christ. Amen. <laughs> 2 Corinthians 5.17, mm -hmm. I'm a new creature in Christ. You know the old person. But I'm not that old person anymore. I'm a new creature in Christ. I'm a new person. And guess what? I'm blooming for God. Yes. <laughs> so you can dump the stuff somewhere else. Yes. Take it somewhere else. Take not somewhere here. Else. <laughs> Keep going, Carmen. Man, this is good. I'm yes. blessed. <laughs> if I, I want it. I want it. We, we, we break this before. But I, I, I brought it. And I put it up here for you. Ephesians 5. Write this down. Ephesians 5, chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. In the Amplified. Mm -hmm. You can read it from the King James, but also read it from the Amplified. Mm -hmm. The Amplified says this. It says, be imitators of God. And therefore, become imitators of God. Copy him and follow his examples. Mm -hmm. Amen. You want to follow an example? You know, our kids always want to follow a hero. Uh -huh. You know, and we show them TV, and we show them this, we show them that, and guess what? They want, they got heroes. Uh -huh. <laughs> and nowadays, <laughs> Jesus is not one of them. You know, yeah. we need to show them. Yeah. It says, follow him. Follow his example. As yeah. well, beloved children, imitate their fathers. And walk continually in love. That is, value one another. Practice interest understanding and compassion unselfishly seeking the best of others yes. just as christ also loved us and gave himself up for us an offering and sacrifice to god slain for you yes. so that it became a sweet fragrance mm -hmm. amen you know if you're a child of god if you're a father you want to be a great example for your child yes. because your child wants to copy you you know what we do is we go do all kinds of negative things and our children see us and they copy us and then we say don't do what I do mm. no be the example that you need to be Christ like yes. and bloom for Jesus so your child can see and say uh -huh. I love my daddy right. I love my mommy they're being great examples for me amen Woo. God uses difficult people like sandpapers it, it rubs the roof off of us. <laughs> we got somebody, you know, like, um, I, 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 I like watching the, the, the hunting channels, you know. <laughs> and you see that when they, when they trap them pigs, and them pigs get mad, them hair stand up. You know, <laughs> and when you get mad, and back of your neck, them hairs, they get, man, they get stand up. And God used, oh, excuse me, God uses difficult people like sandpapers to rub the roof off of you. And some of us have a lot of roof needs to come off. Amen. <laughs> There's a lot of rub stuff out there, you know. We just got to get, get it all smoothed out, you know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it says difficult, hard, tough, challenging, demanding, trying. Oh man, that just rubs me the wrong way. Oh yes. <laughs> Woo, come on now. I know you guys are perfect yes. now. No, no. Ask, ask for me, I'll take it. <laughs> Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. <laughs> Woo, man, that rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> he said he wants to reinforce you. He wants to support you. He wants to help you. Mm -hmm. He wants you to overcome that. Yes. Amen. And you know what? That used to bug me. It don't bug me anymore. Why? Because I matured in the things of God. Because I know what the Word of God says. So you know what? That don't rub me the wrong way anymore. Yes, Amen. I see it a, way, a different way. And you know what he's, he's doing for me? He's guiding and he's providing for me. Amen. And he's got the Word for me. So that I can get in the Word and study Amen. it. And meditate on it. And grow from it. Yes. And bloom from it. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yes, Woo! I'm gonna set all that to say this. Okay. Acts. You can go. You can write this down, and you can go read it for yourself. But in Acts 16, verse 25 through 34. It's a story about Paul and Silas. Uh -huh. Amen. As a matter of fact, let's open that right quick. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Paul and Silas. 
Amen. Amen. It says, uh, it's uh, 25, six, uh, chapter 16, verse 25. It says, at the midnight hour, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. Mm -hmm. Amen. It says, so did Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And uh, listen, I wrote this down. It says, they were beaten, but they weren't complaining. Hmm. Amen. <laughs> they weren't being difficult. Hmm. They were not cursing. Mm -mm. They were not complaining. Mm -mm. And they were not crying. Mm -mm. You know, they were praying, mm -hmm. the Bible says, and they were praising God. Yes. And God heard it. Mm -hmm. Now, verse 26 says this, and suddenly <laughs> there was a great earthquake hmm. so that the foundations of the prisons were shaken and immediately all the doors were open and every one's hands bands, bands were uh, loose mm -hmm. yep. amen Woo, hallelujah I mean was God was God listening yes, he, was. he was listening <clears throat> man a great earthquake mm -hmm. yeah. listen he listens to you don't ever doubt well, he didn't hear my prayers. Mm. And you know what? The battlefield of the mind, nobody. he didn't hear you. You're nobody. Mm. That's the enemy. Right. You're nobody. God don't listen to you. Mm. You got you, you haven't got yourself right. You did something, and God's not listening to you. Mm. And he's going to say all kinds of negative things for you to right. believe. Mm. I said, no. Right. These guys were beaten. Yeah. And they were bleeding. Right. Okay? <laughs> and they were bleeding. And they didn't complain. No. They started pray. They started yeah. praying mm -hmm. and praising. Right. So what is your re what is your excuse for not praying? Right. What's your excuse for not praising? Right. Mm. Amen. Well, I don't. I can't pray. I can't sing good, brother. I can't pray good, brother. Who says you gotta pray good or sing good? Mm -hmm. Just yeah. do it under Him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just pray and say, Lord. Right. I, I need you, yeah. Lord. You know, you what, and, and 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 verse twenty-seven. And the keeper of the prison awakened out of his sleep, and seeing the prison doors open, he drew his sword and would have killed himself. Yes. Would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. Mm -hmm. Amen. I mean, he's ready to do himself. Yeah. Right. Amen. But verse 28 says, And Paul cried with a loud voice. I mean, he would even whisper. You know, some of us, we, we kind of whisper, you know, Yeah, I'm a child of God, but don't tell nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. He says, with a loud voice. He says, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Yes. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas. Yes. Now, how did Paul know? Mm -hmm. He says, you know what? We're all here. How, how do you know how many's in there? Yeah. <laughs> he says, we're all here. Yeah. But God gave him a piece about it mm -hmm. and said, you're all here. Just tell him not to hurt himself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he came and, and he bowed down before him. Verse 30 says, And brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Woo! You know what? Yeah. You're the closest thing yeah. to Jesus right. going somewhere to happen for yeah. somebody. Yeah. And somebody's going to come to you and say, What do I have to do to be saved? Yeah. You need to know what to say. Yes. <laughs> say, You're blooming for Jesus. Yeah. And they see that. They say, I want what you've got. What is it you've got? I've got Jesus. Well, I want Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Verse 31 says, And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. Believe, believe. And you know what? We sow yes. into one another so that they can go and do the same thing mm -hmm. and multiply. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank God. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of their testimony. Yeah. They're going to take that testimony and bring it to somebody else. Yes. Ooh, man. Praise God. Verse 31 and 32 says, 
And they spake unto him and the word of the Lord and to all that were in the his house. Yes. And listen to this. And he took them to the to the sec that he took them the same hour of the night, and he washed their stripes and was baptized, he and his uh straightway. He and all his he and all his straightway. Listen, he washed their stripes. Were they bleeding? Yes. Oh yeah. Huh? Were they bleeding? Yes. Were they crying? Were they complaining? No. Mm -hmm. Say, oh Lord, we're doing this for you. And look what happened to us. Oh, they locked us up. Mm -hmm. They hadn't even treated our wounds. Mm -hmm. You know, they weren't crying or complaining or anything. They were praising God. Yes. Lord, we're doing this yeah. unto you. And we're happy. You, and we're singing praises unto you. Yes. And Lord heard and he stood up. Yes. You know, when uh, I his Stephen, name. Stephen. Stephen, when Stephen prayed and sang praises to the Lord, says the Bible says that Jesus is seated at the right hand of God, mm -hmm. a place of authority. Mm -hmm. He says Jesus stood up when yes. he saw Stephen being stoned. Being stoned. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Woo, he was given his life. He was still blooming for Jesus, yes. mm -hmm. regardless of what the accusations were. Right, right. They were jealous. Yes, they didn't like what he was doing. That's it. Like what he was saying. <laughs> they didn't like what he was saying. That's it. But he said, you know what? I'm not going to change. I'm going to continue Amen. to bloom yes. for Jesus. And Jesus stood up and Amen. received yes. them. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He do the same for you. Yes, He's no yes. respecter of persons. That's it. Amen. Sure. And mm. verse 34 says, And when he had brought them into his house, he set, he set meat before them. Fair. And mm -hmm. Uh, rejoice, rejoice believing in God with all his house. Yes. So his whole family came to Christ. Yes. Amen. So that was a, a great testimony right there. Yes. You know, instead of them complaining, uh -huh, uh -huh. they praised yes. and they they prayed and praised God. Yes. Amen. And guess what? <laughs> that earthquake and they're singing and they're shouting. Mm. I mean the pra the praying and the praise mm -hmm. was loud enough. He heard and it woke him up. Mm -hmm. Amen. So they weren't real quiet about it. No. <laughs> they were excited. Paul and Silas they they grew from it. Yes. They were positive, had a positive attitude. Yes, so you know what? Watch your words and yes. your actions. Amen. Amen. Their words were positive. Their actions were positive, yes. amen, and they started praising, praying and praising God, and it, and it, and it blessed them, yes. amen. So the first bloom is, bloom where you're planted. Bloom is telling us that to bear fruit for the kingdom of God, amen. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Keep going. Uh, keep going. Well, I want you to know this one. It says the steps of a good man are ordered of God, and he delights in his ways. Yes. Right. Amen. The yes. steps of a good man are ordered by God, and he yes. delights in his ways. Psalms 37, 23. Yes. So he's got plans for you. Also, he's going to bless, bless you, yes. bless you, bless you, bless you. Amen. Yes. And bloom for Jesus. Keep going. Right there. It says, I am the vine, yes. you are the you branches. Are the branch. He that abideth in me and I in him, yes. the same bringeth forth uh -huh. much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Amen. 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 With Jesus, all, all things, things are possible. Are possible. Yes. Without him, all things are impossible. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Bear fruit. Bloom for Jesus. Amen. Woo. Amen. Man, I can't say it enough. Uh, thank you, Lord. We're to bloom for Jesus, blossom for, for Jesus, and we need to share his love and his compassion yes. with all those around us. People are going to see this. Keep going, Carmen. Praise God. Here's another one. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that the world believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you're going to have an everlasting life, you're going to bloom for Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't going to stop you. Nothing can stop you except That's yourself. Yes. Don't it. stop yourself. Man, That's I'm going to bloom. I'm going to live for eternity. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have everlasting life. And I'm going to bloom for God. Amen. Yeah, Keep you. going. Man, this is good. 
Uh, I wrote this down for you for you to see our true translations. Philippians 4 and 12. Secondly, it says, Bloom where you, you were planted. Emphasis is on where. Uh -huh. Be content with life. Be content with life is something difficult. But God has placed us right where he wants us to be. Yes, yes. What God appointed is best for you, for us. Mm -hmm. He guides and he provides. Mm -hmm. And this talks about Paul. Mm -hmm. The first translation says, Paul says, I know what it is to be in need right. and i know what it is to have plenty yeah i have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation whether well fed or hungry uh -huh. whether living in the plenty or in want uh -huh. true contentment is found not in having everything you want but is not wanting to have everything uh -huh. amen you're talking about a well educated man yes, yes. amen I mean, he had it all. He wrote two thirds of the New Testament. New Testament. Yeah, New Testament. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Hey, a lot of people get educated. You know why? Because they want prestige. Yeah. They want highlights. They want people to see. I am a doctor. Hey, I'm all for it. But still, he had it all. But still, he said he knew how to be content. Mm. Amen. Yeah. He knew how to be content. The yeah. easy to read version says this. It says Paul says, I know how to live when I am poor. Uh -huh. I know when I have plenty. I have learned the secret of how to live through all any kinds of situations. When I have enough to eat or when I have, am hungry. Mm -hmm. When I have everything I need or when I have nothing. nothing. Amen. You know what? I'm going to seek him first. Yes. Thank you, Lord. You guide and you provide. And yeah. you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grow and go for you. I'm going to bloom for you wherever you have me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And last. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> emphasis. It says bloom where you're planted. Planted. We need to be rooted and grounded in God's word. If we're not sure what the word says. Find out what the word says. Amen. Yes. Because the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he's going to put cares. He's going to put distractions. He's going to put circumstances and problems your way. Mm -hmm. Steal, kill, and destroy. Hallelujah. Well, I, I uh, skipped that one, Carmen. Sorry about that. But uh, Jeremiah, I told you I had Jeremiah 29, yes. 11. And it says, this translation yes. says, For I know the plans I have for you. And you know what it says? You put your name there. Yes. Yes. I know the plans I have for you, Jose. Yeah. Declare the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans yeah. to give you a, a hope and a future. So he's got oh, plans oh, for oh, you. Oh, 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 None yeah. of them include defeat. Amen. Yeah. And what we need to do in return is to bloom wherever he has us. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. And he's got you right where he wants you. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise Thank God. you, Lord. And the Bible also says, keep going. The next one says this. I can do all things Always. through Christ who strengthens me. You know when people tell you, yes. you can't. Mm -hmm. I say, yeah. is that scripture? Mm -hmm. That's not what the scripture says. The scripture says, I can do all oh, things through Christ who strengthens me. So I'm not going to let that stop me. Amen. But I need to know what the word says. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I can go in and mm -hmm. say, what does the word say? Mm -hmm. If I'm not sure, I go and find out yes. what it says. Yes. And then you know what? That's not what the word of God says. The leap yeah. is not for me. Yeah. Yeah. Go somewhere else. It's not for me. Yeah. New King James says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. That's you personalizing. Mm -hmm. I, Jose can do all things through Christ mm -hmm. who strengthens him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Keep going. Amen. We've read this one already. It says the thief, the devil, the diablo, says does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. It says I have come. Jesus says I have come that they might have life and, and that they might have it more, abundantly. more. It says more abundantly. Yes. Amen. So you could do more than yes. bloom, <laughs> bloom, bloom, bloom. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Keep going. Praise we're we're closing. Yeah. Lord. Amen. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna First Peter five and eight. Well, it says, "Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, 
walks about it like, like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Remember we talked about be careful of the words you say. Amen. Watch your words, watch your actions because yes. the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. How does he know when to come in? Yeah. When you open and say the negative things. Right. You yeah. open the door and he's going to walk right in. Right. Amen. So, you know what? I thought about saying it, but I'm not going to say it. Amen. Because when you sow the seed, the negative seed, it's going to grow. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm not going to say the negative. I'm going to say the positive. So I'm not going there. And I'm not opening the door for the enemy to come in. That's it. Who let him in? I did. Yeah. Watch your words. Watch your actions. Don't say it. You know, I thought about it. Thinking about it, it's not going to open the door. Nah, uh -uh. Speaking it will open the door. Yes, it does. Amen. So don't even, don't even, don't even go there. Don't go there. And verse seven talks about casting all cares on Him because He cares for you. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. Keep going, Colonel. Last one. Last one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and here's here you can write this down. It says Satan's mission is this. Steal, kill, destroy. That's easy. Uh -huh. Steal, kill, destroy. That's his mission. He don't change. God says he's God. He changes not either. But Jesus' mission is this. To give you life and give it, give you life more abundantly. Uh -huh. Amen. Woo. In Psalms one, uh, 1, 2, and 3 says this. It says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in the law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Amen. I mean, we know, we know this song. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Just remember. And we'll close with this. <laughs> bloom, bloom for Jesus. And bloom wherever he plants you. Yes. Amen. Praise God that you get something. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Me too. Those of you watching, those of you listening, if you haven't accepted him yet, it's never too late. So today you can say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And guess what? He's going to come in. You know why? Because he put you here to succeed. He put you here to win. He didn't put you here to lose. So, you know, you can change your life right now. Doing a bow face and start walking with him now. Amen. And bloom for him the rest of your life instead of being down and out. You know, praise God. So all you need, that's all you need to do is just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And he's going he's gonna to do that. Now it's up to you to get in the Word, study the Word, right. get in a Bible-based church where they can teach you the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And start going and growing and going for jesus amen so praise god you have sickness in your body do what i do <laughs> i just confess what the word of god says by his stripes i'm healed yes. and i lay hands on myself you know and say that i am healed sickness has no part of me i command sickness to leave my body in jesus name all malfunctions i stop you in the name of jesus i pray for everything in my body to function the way god created it to function so they're going to function right in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Quit confessing the negative. Quit confessing the, the sickness. Yes. Sickness has no part of me. So I rebuke sickness. I command it to go in Jesus' name. Woo! Hallelujah. Yeah. And it's time to give. Yeah. <laughs> so those of you watching, all you do is look at our, our uh, website, NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Yeah. And for Cash App, just go to our, our uh, website. Uh, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band for Cash App. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. God loves you.